Welcome to Flutter Teacher. In this session, we'll talk about redirecting the constructor. This is basically a concept that allows us to call another constructor from the one constructor of the same class. So without wasting time, let's get started. Let's understand what do you mean by the redirecting constructor. Constructor that makes the call to another constructor of the same class using this, that is using this construct is known as the redirecting constructor. Just look at this example. We have the class called test that contains total three constructors. First is the default one. Second is called the name constructor with test.demo. And the third that we have is actually the redirecting constructor. You can observe here inside this constructor, we have returned the colon. And after this colon, we have this. So this is basically a calls to the default constructor. That is, it's called to test default constructor. So that's why the constructor that is making a call to another constructor of the same class is actually known as the redirecting constructor. So here the call me is a redirecting constructor. Now we can observe here when I run this program in my main, we have the test.call me. So as I'm calling the call me, you can observe here the test that is the default constructor gets called. Using this, we can also pass the parameters. So uh, there must be the parameters required for the constructor. So with respect to the parameter list, we can also pass the parameters inside this the bracket list of this. And using this one, we can also call the name constructor. So I can call say test.demo. So for this, I need to write test.demo. And that's going to call the test.demo constructor. So let me rerun the program again. You can observe here. So we're getting the output through test.demo call. This is what the output from the second constructor. Let's understand the situation where this redirecting constructor concept is used. Consider we have the multiple constructor. Now out of this constructor, there is some constructor that has got the common logic, which is used by the other constructors. And the remaining constructors has just a different list of parameters that can be used to initialize the different values. But the common logic or the common task has to be done by the single constructor. So in this case, what we can do, we can make the use of multiple constructor, but all those constructor or let's say some constructor as per the requirement can make a call to the constructor that has the common logic so that we don't need to copy paste that logic in all the remaining constructor and that's going to run for all the constructors in the class. A redirecting constructor cannot have a body or the initializer list. Look at this example here. We have the default constructor called taste. So as it is a default constructor and as there is no call to another constructor, that is, it's not a redirecting constructor. So it's perfectly fine to have the body for this constructor. But you can observe here inside the constructor called tails.callMe, it is making a call to this constructor. That is, it's making a call to the default constructor using the redirecting concept. That's why if I try to put body for this constructor, immediately this notepad giving me an error it says that redirecting constructor can't have the body. Now, let me explain what we mean by the initializer list. So first of all, let me delete this one from here. So consider that we have got some instance field. Let's say we have got, let's say index. Now, this is what a field that we have. Now, let me initialize this one using the initializer list. So when we write the colon and we write, let's say x is equal to some value. So whatever initialization in the constructor that we do with this colon and after that we have the list of initializer here. So this particular place is called the initializer list. So in case of normal constructor, it's completely fine. We can have the list of initializer. But let me copy this line and let me try it here. And let me write a colon here. Now you can observe here, that pad is immediately giving me an error because it's not allowed to have the body and not even the initializer list. For the redirecting constructor, there cannot be field initializer. However, it can accept the normal parameter. Now let me explain what do you mean by this field initializer with an example. The class called text has got two instance fields x and y. In order to perform initialization of this x and y, inside the default constructor we have written this dot x and this dot y. So whatever thing that we write inside this bracket is actually called the field initializer. We mostly call this concept as the synthetic sugar to initialize the field using the constructor in the Dart. So for normal constructor, it's completely fine to have this one. But if you try to do the same thing, that is if you try to use this field initializer inside the constructor that has got the redirection. So we'll get an error. So let me paste it here. You can observe now immediately that pad use me error. It says the redirecting constructor cannot have the field initializer. 
However, it is possible that we can have the normal parameter list and these parameters can be passed to the called constructor. So for this, let me change it here. So I can write here, let's say int x and I can write here int y. Make sure that this int x and int y, they are not the field initializer, rather they are the normal parameter. And let me pass these parameters here so I can write x and y. So as this is the constructor that accepts two parameters, I need to pass some value here. So let me write the value 10 and 20 here. Redirecting constructor must be the generative constructor. It means it cannot be the factory constructor. You can observe here, we have the constructor called this.callMe, which is actually the redirecting constructor that is calling the default constructor using this. So as it is the generative constructor, it's completely fine. There is no error or no issue in my code. But if I change it to say factory, so let me write here factory, and you can observe here, as soon as I place factory keyword before the constructor, I'm getting the lots of error here. The reason for error is when we have the factory constructor, it's compulsory for that constructor to have the body and return the instance using the another constructor. But as we write the redirection by using this, so for such a constructor, there cannot be the body. When redirecting constructor uses const, then the called constructor must be the const also. We have the test.callMe, uh, which is actually the redirecting constructor. Now for this constructor, let me use const here. So as I have written a const, you can observe I'm getting error and it says the constant redirecting constructor cannot redirect to non-constant constructor. It means whenever we make a call to this redirecting constructor, that is whenever we are calling the default constructor or whatever constructor that you call using the redirecting concept, then such a constructor must be the constant one. So if I write a const here, you can observe the problem gets solved but if you remove a const from here then the problem still persists so make sure that whenever we have the constant constructor which is actually the redirecting one so make sure that the constructor that you redirect or the called constructor must be the constant using this that is using the concept of redirecting we can redirect to only one constructor at a time we have the constructor called test.callMe which is actually a redirecting constructor making a call to default constructor using this. So you can observe here using this constructor we can call only one constructor. So let me try to use one more this to call another constructor. So I can write here say this dot demo and you can observe here as soon as I write this line I will get error. The reason here is by using the concept of redirecting we can redirect to only one constructor and not for the multiple constructor. But however we can make the another redirection from different constructor that is you can observe here this constructor called the call me is calling the default one and inside this default i can write say this dot demo and that's going to work fine so you can observe here it's like the chain that we have so call me is calling the default one and the default one is calling the demo so that's completely fine a recursive redirection is not allowed the test class has got two constructors the default and the name constructor for this name constructor let me try to call the same constructor using the concept of redirection so let me write here colon and say this dot say call me so you can observe here as i'm writing call me that is the redirection concept here you can observe here we're getting error says constructor cannot redirect themselves either directly or indirectly so in this case directly i'm trying to call the same constructor which is not allowed even let's say if i write say this so it means it is going to call the default constructor and now let me try to call the call me constructor through this default constructor so i have written here say column and i can write here this dot call me and now in this case what i'm doing i'm trying to have the recursive call indirectly so even you can observe here so as i'm trying to call from call me i'm trying to call the default one and the default one is calling the call me now let me talk about last and a very important point regarding the redirecting constructor when we have a factory constructor so factory constructor must return an instance by calling another constructor so that call looks similar to constructor redirecting but make sure that it's not a call using the this means it's the direct call that we are making so don't get confused between the redirecting using this and the redirecting by using the factory constructor you can observe here line number seven we have the factory constructor called taste.callme and inside this factory constructor i'm returning the instance by using the default constructor so that's the reason when i run this program you can observe here 
when i'm calling the taste.conv constructor through this constructor i'm getting a call to default one and it's printing the taste card but make sure that it's not the concept called the redirecting constructor in fact it is the direct call that the factory constructor is making to return the instance